Hi there again. Uh, today will be a day of making videos. Uh, so just a quick update about what's going on. There was not much going on because there was a friend visiting me and there was some private stuff and now I will need to move the flood again. This time I'm going to the Oxfordshire. So I'm going south to the England and yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm going back to the unemployment. Well, hopefully I will find something there. So if there is anyone from the Oxfordshire and know something about the technical job or something like that, just give me a PM. <laughs> I want some. Anyway, this guy is practically finished. Uh, yeah, that's how it looks like. Uh, I finished the engine. Uh, still need, you know, some small details add on it. But basically it looks this way. I will change the color of the hose near. Uh, maybe add some something in here, some more shiny stuff. Of course there will be a lot more of dirt and I will put some pigments on it. There will be some oil on this one. But basically this stuff, this, this part of him is finished. The legs are still during the process of painting. Okay. Uh, well, slowly going down. But anyway, uh, as an update other one, I told that there was a there was a friend visiting, right? So he brought me gifts. I got an airbrush. No, no, not Gibson book. As you can see, I will have an airbrush and now I can play with it. I don't know exactly when I will have time to do this, but I will. So, great, great thanks for him. And I hope it will help me a lot, especially with the buildings and the, and the trains. Uh, so, yeah, if I would try it, I will definitely show you how it looks like. Uh, I showed you, Claire. Uh, anything else? Mm, there's a test piece of train uh, which is you know the idea is from the standing stones from the Orkneys and basically I done it to <laughs> yeah, I'm in the middle of the process uh, anyway that's the idea of reusing uh, coffee grains from from the coffee machines on my work you know this kind of like a Starbucks or something where you have like green dead coffee and you put it to the pressure machine and then you just chuck it out so I decided that it looks quite good as a dirt and and maybe I can use it so that's what I'm trying to do in here and definitely it will look great as a fresh fresh soil on a, on a grave or something like that but well I will need to put another layer of glue on it and add some, add some, add some uh, green foliage, grass, some kind of things like that. And then we'll see how it looks like. But yeah, will be interesting. And oh, from 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 this kind of ideas, uh, on this one for example, and for this one too. Not this one especially. Uh, uh, this one is a, the dirt and the soil and the sand is made from three different things. There's of course a normal sand on it, and then uh, some small. Uh, from what I done, the finest one. I think it was some. Yeah, that was a big soda, uh, bicarbonate soda. Then I use a pigment. Then I decided, well, hmm, I need something yellow, uh, curry powder, and I put a curry powder on it. And uh, yeah, then I decided it's not looking, you know, as as the the curry powder is not the finest. The finest, it doesn't have a finest grain. So I put a, I've tried to make a bicarbonate, colored one bicarbonate soda on it, and, and just sprinkle on it, and it worked quite well. It's not. It of course it's of course worse than a pigment because it's not sticking and it's not coloring anything. But if you just need exactly something like a dust, a powder of some kind, it, it looks 
it works really nice. Uh, what else I can tell you? Well, I think that'll be an all from the news. So, ah, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Or not, that'll be another video.